Let's go. Let's start making him pay the price. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's do it. Kicking it left. Just regular straight up coverage. After their ass from this play right to the very last one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. To survive in Washington, D.C., one must be willing to deal with pain, to experience setbacks, yet never accept them. Nothing comes easy in the nation's capital, and in 1989, nothing came easy to the Washington Redskins. They were a team that had to endure heartbreaking losses and a host of injuries, but they recovered, they regrouped, and they went back on the warpath. Looking, he's got Monk over the far side, up in the air, cut, touchdown, Washington Redskins. Here he goes to pass, Blitz is on, they pick it up, he's going deep, he's got Clark on the fly, on the post, at the three, into the end zone, touchdown, Washington Redskins. Another good drive by the Redskins, ripping his back, Blitz is on from Taylor, he dashes to the right side to avoid it, back across the middle, Sanders, diving catch, touchdown, Washington Redskins. The 1989 Washington Redskins, a team that faced its share of obstacles, but a team that went back on the warpath to maintain over half a century of excellence. There are better ways to begin a season than facing the New York Giants on Monday night. And there are better ways to begin a game than falling behind 14 to three. But Washington is a team that has never let a deficit get the better of them. They got him deep. It's Ricky Sanders. He's waiting for the ball to two. On it. Touchdown. Ricky Sanders' score brought the Skins back into the game, but it was a defensive touchdown that put them ahead. Dumps it over the middle. Picked off. Monty Coleman's got it. Far side 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Washington Redskins. Monty Coleman's heroics, with just over seven minutes to go, gave Washington its first lead. But on the last play of the game, New York had a chance for the win. 52-yard field goal attempt. Snaps a bit high, held it good, kick is up, there's enough there. It's good! No! 52 yards! The clock shows goose egg. Raul Alegre's field goal ruined a fine comeback. So against Philadelphia the following week, the Skins tried to make sure a comeback wouldn't be necessary. From the 20, play action fake, a little hitch going up the sideline, got Gary Clark, he pulls it in at the 50, 40, 30, he's gone! Touchdown, Washington Redskins on play number one from scrimmage. Can't get any better than that, perfect play! Holy cow, what an opener! And they hand off big hole up the middle. There goes Riggs across the 40, 35, breaks it. 30, 25, near side, 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Washington Redskins. Two plays, two touchdowns. Wow. Back goes Griffin, sets up, looks over the top. He's got Biner. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Third, TD of the quarter. Biner right over the middle. And the Redskins can jack this. The Redskins' first quarter sprint led to a huge early lead. But little did they know this race would be a marathon. And if there's one mistake to be made in a distance race, it's to go out too fast. As the second half began, Washington still held a 30 to 14 lead. But the tortoise was putting pressure on the hare. Balls that were once falling into the Redskins' hands were now just out of reach. Or worse yet, somehow finding the Eagles.
Washington appeared to still have the game in hand when Gerald Riggs hopped down the sideline to put the finishing touches on a club record 221-yard day. He's gone unless they catch him. 50, 40, he's down to the 30, the 25, he's knocked out of bounds. The finish line indeed was in sight, and only a miracle would allow the Tortoise to win this race. Miner in motion. Here comes Riggs over the right side again. Fumble the football. Picked up by 59, Seth Joyner of the Eagles. They're still going. Wes Hopkins down to the 30, the 35. No flag. He's returning it to the 40, to the 30. First and goal at the four-yard line behind the pro set. Cunningham scrambles back, wants to pass in the end zone. Got a man. Touchdown. It's Keith Jackson. After two weeks, the Redskins could, perhaps should, have been 2-0 and and atop the NFC East, but a stunning series of events had them winless and sick of fairy tale endings. After suffering a pair of the club's toughest losses in recent history, Joe Gibbs needed a spark, and he got it from his defense. Second down and 15, back goes Aikman again. Good protection this time. Up over the top, Alvin Walton picks it off on the 29. He's back to the far side, 15, 10, 5. Alvin Walton's first career touchdown gave Washington an early lead, and a 12-yard run by Ernest Biner sealed the Skins' first win of the year. In New Orleans the following week, it was the special teams that ignited a win. Trailing in the final quarter, Rolf Mojenko's 45-yard punt was misplayed and recovered by Dave Harbour setting up one of Chip Low Miller's three field goals and leading to a 16 to 14 win. Low Miller finished 89 as the second leading scorer in the NFL and against the Saints booted a career long 48 yard field goal. With a two and two record the Redskins headed back to Washington still looking for their first home win. And thanks to a big fourth quarter by quarterback Mark Rippon, they would get it. All right, let's see what they do here. Run that little short pattern in there. Snap to Rippon. He's open. Back he goes. He's open. Rushes out to the right side on the scramble. Can't find anybody. Stops, throws it into the end zone. Got a man. Touchdown. Art Monk. Rippon back to pass on 33. Lobs it up in the end zone. He's got Clark. Touchdown. Washington Redskins. Oh, that ice is it. Three straight victories and consecutive come from behind wins had the Redskins on a roll. And after a tough week six loss to the New York Giants, they continued their torrid play against Tampa Bay. Come on back, I should say. There's the snap to Rippon. He's back, looking in the end zone, lobs it up for Clark. He's there. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Dash out of the pocket. Come out of the pocket. Come here on out goes. of here. There Rippon. he goes. Out to the near there side. He comes. Still on the run. Looking. Fires it into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Washington Redskins. Gary Clark. Gary Clark. With, with a 32 to 28 victory and four wins in their last five games, the Washington Redskins were back in the playoff race. For years, they've affectionately been known as the Hogs. Men like Warren, Jacoby, Grimm, May, and Bostick. And for the past nine years, they were led by Joe Bugle, now head coach of the Phoenix Cardinals. But with players like all-pro caliber tackle Jim Lachey returning in 1990, the Hogs should continue to pick up stunts and protect the NFL's number one ranked passing offense. And with young hogs like Ray Brown, Ed Simmons, Raleigh McKenzie, and number 69, Mark Schlereth, learning the ways of the pigsty that is the offensive line, the Redskins' air attack looks ready for the 90s. On the ground, the hogs likely will continue to specialize in the counter gap, a play that has made their offense a success and made many a running back a star. Often finding big holes in the gap was number 21, Ernest Biner, who proved to be quite a find himself. Biner was picked up from Cleveland last year and enjoyed a stellar season, catching 54 passes and rushing and receiving for over a thousand yards. Biner not only brought his offensive abilities with him from Cleveland, but also his blue collar work ethic 
as he bowled his way to a team-high nine touchdowns and combined with fellow first-year Redskin number 37 Gerald Riggs to form a dynamic backfield. But neither Biner nor Riggs could prevent the unforeseen disasters which would occur in weeks eight and nine. As the skins hit the midpoint of the season, they also hit the low point. Eight Redskin turnovers, seven LA sacks, and 37 Raider points added up to a 13-point loss. And things got even worse when the windless Cowboys invaded RFK the next week. Washington yielded a then season low 13 points to Dallas. But those 13 points would prove to be plenty for the Cowboys. The Redskins were out of sync. They were wounded physically and emotionally. And they were four and five and going nowhere. For the second time in 89, Washington was faced with rebounding from devastating back-to-back -back losses. And for the second time, Joe Gibbs' squad gave itself a character test and came out with straight A's, anxious, angry, and aggressive. Rookie tight end Jimmy Johnson came up with this clutch fourth down grab to set up the game's only touchdown. Ernest Miner's one yard plunge gave Washington a 10 to nothing lead, but it was the defense that would win this game. Marching for a possible tying score, Randall Cunningham was pressured by number 99 Tracy Rocker and number 51 Monty Coleman. And linebacker Kurt Gavea took advantage of the hurried pass to preserve the win. Gavea and Coleman are part of a ferocious group of linebackers that include Greg Minuski, Raven Caldwell, and Wilbur Marshall. Washington's front four saw some new faces in 89 with the likes of Rocker and number 60 Fred Stokes but they were anchored by Daryl Grant and three-time Pro Bowler number 71, Charles Mann. Mann led the Skins with nine and a half sacks and should lead Washington's young line into the 90s, while Daryl Green should continue to be a blessing from above in the Redskins secondary. Number 28 suffered a season-ending injury in week seven, but he should be back in 1990 to pace a unit that features men like Martin Mayhew, Brian Davis, Todd Bowles, Alvin Walton, Clarence Vaughn, and number 47, A.J. Johnson. Washington received some heavenly bounces in 89, tying for second in the NFL in interceptions with 27. And with a young and talented group returning, they should please Redskin faithful for years to come. In 1989, he became the gunslinger of Washington's offense. And with three of the game's best pass catchers on the same team, they are perhaps the most feared foursome in the NFL. Mark Rippon and his trio of receivers, individually Ricky Sanders, Gary Clark, and Art Monk, collectively the posse.
the posse became only the second threesome in NFL history to each gain 1,000 yards receiving for the same team in a single season. They combined for 245 catches and 21 touchdowns. And it's appropriate that in such a record-setting year, their leader would continue to chase NFL receiving marks. Art Monk will enter the 1990 season having caught a pass in 100 straight regular season games. He is third on the all-time receiving list, and he and his posse mates were a big reason the Redskins were able to turn their season around. Week 12 saw the Skins hosting the Chicago Bears, and with playoff hope still a possibility, despite a 5-6 and six record, Washington came out hungry for a win. Liner is the deep back. Motion by Jimmy Johnson. Play action fake. Rippin throws into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Washington Redskins. Don Warren with a tight end Don Warren is better known as a hog than a receiver. But he looked pretty comfortable cradling the pigskin. And Mark Rippin looked comfortable throwing for four touchdown passes and a career high 401 yards. To the far side. He looks back to the right side. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Washington Redskins. Gary Clark dugs his dance. And the Redskins have scored two. Snap to Rippin. Back he drops. He's going to pass. Going to go in the end zone. He's got Mark. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. What a beautiful play. With the posse riding high, Washington rode away with a 38-14 win. And although Rippin and his gang never got on track in Phoenix, the defense did. Green to the near side. Tupa's going to pass. Going to get blitzed. Throws it out here in the near flat. A.J. Johnson picked it off. He's gone. Touchdown. He's gone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. A.J. Johnson with his first NFL touchdown. Two wins in two weeks. The Redskins were back again and were ready for the playoff run. There are few leaders in D.C. with more years in office than Joe Gibbs, and there's no one with a bigger office. As Gibbs entered RFK Stadium in week 14, he would be going for his 100th win. And as linebacker Neil Okowitz took the field, he would be doing it for the last time. After 11 years, Okowitz was retiring. Two special men and two special reasons to beat San Diego. Back is Rippin, dashes out to his left side, plants the foot, pumps once, going deep down to the near side. He's got Sanders caught at the five, touchdown! Ricky Sanders' score 15 seconds before intermission cut a 14 to nothing Charger advantage in half. And with San Diego still leading in the fourth quarter, Joe Howard, behind the blocking of number 87 Terry Orr, ran wild and set up the game winner. Joe Howard. At the 10-yard line, going to the far side of the field, 15, the 20. Cuts back into the middle of the 25, 30. He's at the 40. Back to the 45, 50. Going to be chased from behind at the 40. Pulled out at the Clark's 33-yard score put Washington ahead for good, giving Gibbs his 100th win and Olkowitz a memorable last home game. With their sights clearly focused on the playoffs, Washington took aim at a fourth straight win. And trailing by 17 at the half, they exploded for 21 third-quarter points. Play action fake to Riggs. Over to the left side, he's got it complete out there to Monk at the 40. He's to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone, That's touchdown, fair. Washington Redskins. Art Monk, 60 yards for the touchdown. Back is Rippin, rolls out to his left, pumps once, looks back up over the middle, deep. Sanders at the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, pull down. Ricky Sanders' 68-yard catch and run set up a Biner score, and Mark Rippin's sneak secured a fourth straight win. Hand off, play action, and bootleg. Rippin around the near side, five, he's to the end zone. The Redskins Touchdown. squeaked out of Atlanta with a 31-30 win, but an L.A. Ram victory prevented them from squeaking into the playoffs. Washington was a team that at times in 89 wasn't sure what direction it was going, but by the end of the year, everything was straightened out, and a 29-0 victory over Seattle to finish the season at 10-6 proved that. 
89 was a season with heartbreaking losses, losses that would have destroyed most teams, but not Washington. It was a season where time-tested veterans were challenged over and over, and they delivered again and again. Here he goes to pass. Blitz is on. They pick it up. He's going deep. He's got Clark on the fly, on the post, at the three, into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. It was a season where young players were thrown into pivotal roles, and they came up big. Here we go. Craig and company with the ball. He's back in his own end zone. He's caught. Safety. 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 Who got it? Stokes. Fred Stokes. It was a season where newcomers had to adjust to new demands, and they became leaders. Here goes the right side run. Fighter back into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. And it was a season where the Washington Redskins went back on the warpath.